Hello again, it's me John and welcome to another product review and comparison. And no, you are not seeing double, this is not deja vu. This is two of the same things you might have already watched me compare and review before, except this time around we're hoping that things go a little bit differently. Now if you've seen that different review before, you know that one of these, when I opened it, did not come out just right. Well. I was contacted by one of the people at this company. I'd just like to read a little bit of that before I go out and, and start this. So they contacted me and they wanted me to re-review it, mainly because they thought that I had gotten something that might have been on the shelf too long. I didn't look at the dates on it and I threw the bottles away while I recycled them. So I wasn't able to give them the numbers on them for them to check on it, but I agreed to re-review them, and here's what they wanted to say. Thank you for agreeing to do a new comparison of the two hop waters out there. Enclosed are three bottles of what they gave me and a, new bo and a bottle of the other one. Now, they do say that they enjoy their competitor, but they say it's more of a flavored drink with hops, and it, they do say it's enjoyable. They say the main difference between theirs is that their product is just hops and water. It's not a, what they call a flavored drink with hops. And they said that it has stevia in it, and stevia is a natural sweetener. They give the link to the Wikipedia for stevia. They say it's in a lot of diet drinks. And they say that they don't add any sweeteners or any yeast. It's just hop and water. And it is a whole food type of product. Strangely enough, I got my original one at Whole Foods. And they say, your fair and objective review is appreciated. Keep up the good work on your channel. We enjoyed watching your other videos. Well, thank you very much. There's a couple Q&A questions about that, but I don't want to be just outright about which one it was if you haven't seen that video already. Depending on how this video goes, this video will probably replace the other one, but I will not be deleting the original video. The original video will be put on private and there will be a link to it in the description of this video just so, in all fairness, it doesn't get deleted. It's not like I never did it. But also, if someone goes out and starts Googling for information about these, this video will be the first one they're able to see so they have uh, a fair, more just type of comparison video. Now, what do I have in front of me? I have Lagunitas Hop sparkling water. It says made with hops, yeast, and water. If you look in the back of the ingredients, it says carbonated water, dried hops, low-grade lactic acid, liquid stevia leaf extract, nutritional brewer's yeast, natural flavors. And it has zero of everything except potassium. It has 2% potassium. You see it's in a very clear bottle and it just has a very light greenish, yellowish color to it. This is made by the Lagunitas Brewing Company, and they have many locations in Paluma, California, and Chicago, Illinois. And I think they have more than that as well, but I'm not sure. And then we have what this is. Uh, it's just called Hops. There's a silent two in the name, so it kind of looks like H2O, like water, but it's pronounced Hops. The two is silent. And this has zero alcohol, just like this has zero alcohol, zero calories, zero sweet, unsweetened, gluten-free, sodium-free. If you see on the side there, everything says zero. And you can see this one is in a green colored bottle. This one is a twist off while this one's a pry off. This one is made in Anaheim, California or distributed in Anaheim, California. The ingredients are carbonated water, brewed hops, vitamin C, ascorbic acid. So we believe that the amazing flavor of hops shouldn't be limited to craft beer without the malt sugars and yeast found in beer. This special unsweetened sparkling water naturally has zero alcohol and zero calories. Because of our brewing and hop selection, the taste is low on bitterness, surprisingly refreshing, and nuanced with complex citrus notes, all from the hops. Cheers. Now, Lagunitas has a little bit of writing as well. We'll read that. This IPA-inspired sparkling beverage is a fresh take on an old tradition, a zero alcohol, zero carb, and zero calorie refreshment. Made using everything we know about hops, it's a variation on a theme of 25 years of edgy brewing on the edge of brewing. Beer listens, and then it has a phone number as well. But there you go, those two. Now, 
I'll pour them into these glasses so we can see what they look like. I have just got done thoroughly washing these glasses. Pour some filtered water in there to taste it, just to make sure that I'm not leaving any kind of off flavors inside of there by my end, to be sure. So let's go ahead and start with the hops water. This one's the pry off. Smells like hops and water. Very effervescent. You can see it has a ever so slightly cloudiness to it. Very bubbly. The smell is very light hoppiness, but definitely you can tell it's there. Oh, they have a little thing on the bottom of the cap. Did you know there are over 100 hop varieties? We use a very special blend. I wonder if it says what blend. It says Northwest Hops. I wonder if that's the only one. Or if there's other ones, probably in uh, their website. Now, all I'm going to need is, is a pry off. Let's go ahead and pour that one out. No, no information or fun sayings on the bottom of that one. Anyway. We'll push these bottles off to the side. Now that this is the hops water, and this is the hoppy, no, the hop. So hop, hops. The difference is yes. All right, you can see this one's much clearer. I would say less bubbles, less effervescence in this one. This one has a little bit more of a cloudy color to it. So I think it has had a little more bubbles, especially when I first poured it out. The Lagunitas definitely has like a little bit of a sweeter tone to it. And I know this one doesn't say it has malt, but it almost smells like malt. Maybe I've just been in breweries long enough where I've smelled something and I'm actually just smelling hops, like brewed hops. Anyway, let's go ahead and taste them. So I poured this one first. Let's go ahead and try the hops first. This one tastes like brewed hops. Like if you just threw hops in hot water, cooked them up, took that water, added some carbonation to it, bottled it up, chilled it. That's exactly what this is. It's like a carbonated hops tea. No sweetness to it. There's a lot of a uh, bubbliness in the back of the throat there. Not bad. All right, let's try the Lagunitas hop water. The biggest difference in flavor especially going from that one to this one, is that the Lagunitas hop water has a sweetness to it that the hops water does not have. Where this is like a, a brewed beverage made with water and hops, this definitely tastes like a carbonated beverage flavored with hops. Like not necessarily hops Pure hops has touched this water, whereas this tastes like, and it kind of looks like this was the water that the hops cooked in. This looks like the hops might have been cooked in something else, uh, extracted down into some flavoring, added to a different batch of water that was maybe already carbonated, uh, kind of like how you make Coke or Pepsi. They 
have the flavoring solution and the carbonated water, they come together in the bottles or the soft serve. And this is like a brewed beverage. That's the big difference here. They're both pretty good. I would say if it's like a, a hot day out, mowing the lawn, just out the porch. I think I would kind of enjoy this one better. It's a little bit more refreshing. But if I were to have one with a meal, I think I'd go with the hops water. I think you're going to sip this one more, whereas you're probably going to chug that one more. This one has more uh, complexity of flavor. The brewing process, you really taste like different notes of the hops. Some of the fresher flavors and some of the more cooked flavors, where this is all, this is all like brightness. It's hard to say which one is better. They both have their space in this market, I think. And they're both worth going out and trying. I'm going to leave it this one up to you. Like I said, this one I think is more refreshment. This is one I think I would have more with a meal. Anyway, that's the end of this review. Hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Try both of these products and see which one that you like best. And until next time, so long. Bye.